Hi, uh, welcome back to my series of tutorials on how to do effects in free programs. Uh, today I got a request from a user to, well basically asking how to do a f stop time effect, I think a freeze motion effect, something like that. So this is what we're going to be making, as you can see I'm going to be using wax for this, so if you just play it through. As you can see it's just a very quick and dirty test that I did myself. They asked me to, how to do it so I was like okay, I'll just go through it. So I'm basically just throwing some balls down. And my next goal, what I'm basically going to do is freeze one of the balls in midair. While the other one goes down. Obviously it's not a perfect test, but hey oh, this is very quick, very very quick and dirty effect basically. So first thing I did is, you, you know I've got just sharper open, the reason is because unfortunately in stuff like wax, there's no frame hold feature as far as I know. So what I did is I, I brought my footage into Jashaka, I put it into the editing timeline, I found the point at which I wanted to freeze it, so I thought this frame was. On the right hand side here I clicked the sh snapshot button, which basically meant that it gave me a picture. The picture was then on my desktop. So I, just, I could just click on export clip. I exported it to my desktop. And so on my desktop I ended up with a still image of where it's going to freeze and my video. So then I brought these into wax. So the video of the drop and the singular state or image. Uh, so then what I did is if I show you again basically what I did do somehow zoomed out of this and I don't know how to get it back but uh, basically so I've got my drop I stuck my drop underneath uh, my drop video so if we just play through that and then what I did is I found the point at which this video intersects so if I add another video on top so adding another image here what I did is I found that image. The reason, the way I did this is I, I brought it along here. And I set the opacity on this by going into track properties to about 70%. Then I just went through and attempted, as you can see, the shadows to match the shadows up closely. So that looks like it's actually the right thing. So then I zoomed right in and cut it away uh oh completely missed it there there we are and then cut it to a frame long If you play this back, in theory, you shouldn't notice any difference. It just picks up that one frame. There is just a slight difference. I think that might be to do with it might be just a little bit so what I did is once I've done that is I extended the length of the clip I then changed the opacity on said to 100 percent now here this is where we have our drop what we need to do is we need to mask this out so collapse everything down 
I don't know why this has suddenly decided to become so zoomed in, but uh, hey ho, doesn't matter. So what I did is, I selecting my layer, went into video plugins, rotomate, stick it on there. Go to the pen tool, and just draw around our little layer. As you can see, I've got close selected, so it's actually closed it automatically. Now on Rotomate, I went down, clicked on Shapes as a Mask. As you can see, it has a mask there. Then if we see how our mask still stays. To make it these edges a little less defined and a little less sharp, down on the left hand side here, if you increase the mask blur a bit. Now if this isn't proper, doesn't, doesn't work properly, the easiest thing to do is to go back into Rotomate click this button here and then we'll just edit some points and see how that looks yeah I think that looks a lot better so but as you can see it is staying there now but <laughs> we have this little problem here with the remainder of the ball going through so what we all, what we need to do is we need to create a second mask that will follow this down so the first thing is that we'll, we'll get to the frame we are at the next frame go back into rotomate and draw a brand new shape We'll edit this out a bit. As you can see, this is very quick, very rough. And then on the left hand side, we need to go down, click on Shape 2, and click on this stopwatch icon, and just click on Smooth or Linear, whatever you want to click it on. And then click the Move button, and just move it over our clip. Now, if you go back one frame, just making sure that it's not thing and then go all the way to when it's out of the view and literally just move it out of view it's pretty much that simple now here it's actually kind of misaligned itself so we will move that there So the way it goes now is uh, if we bring it here, go through frame by frame, just make sure and that's about three frames. As you can see, there is a bit of roughness there, but if we were to play it back. As you can see, it, it played so fast because there's only like three or four frames that you really didn't notice it unless you were really looking for that little glitch. Uh, but I've just done this in about five, ten minutes. If you were doing this properly, you'd probably have a much higher quality camcorder. You wouldn't have this shadow in the background to pro probably to worry about. And you'd probably have put more thought into it, so you hopefully wouldn't have that problem. And because you'd be taking longer on it, you could you have longer to fix the problem up. But you can see very quickly and very easily how you can do it. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, because there's no snapshot for this facility inside of Wax, you need to use another program. So if you don't have a Sharky, you can always use Windows Movie Maker. Or I, I'm guessing if you're on Mac, you wouldn't really be using Wax because I'm not sure if it works on there. But if it does, I'd have thought something like iMovie would also have that same option. Now, for regular viewers who are thinking about how can I do this in Jashaka, the situation is quite similar. Um, as you can see, I used 
masks inside of wax, but there's no masks inside of Shaka. So there's a couple of different things you could do. You could really, if you wanted to, bring it into the uh, paint tool and then see if you can basically paint everything else out or into a different color and then use something like chroma key or the key the uh, screen tool to blur it out the other option which I'd probably say is uh, bring it into GIMP mask it out in GIMP and then as a PNG file and then bring it back into Shaka and use the animation layer uh, add a new add a couple of layers and stick one on top of the other and hey presto it's all done so you can do it in Jashaka, but again, you do, to make, if you want to do it really quickly, something like GIMP, you could do it fairly quickly and fairly easily in. Uh, in fact, actually, I'll see if I can do it. I don't think I'll be able to because this video does not work in this thing. I have a specific problem with my video. Or maybe it doesn't. Uh, yeah, because I'm using a really cheap EO camera, as you can see from the quality, uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work it's because it's in a different format to avi or mov which are the, the default formats that shark use so it's a bit hit and miss sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but you kind of get the gist in fact i could probably do it in here actually what am i talking about so if i right click here click on edit with gimp I'll actually stop the wax one. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. so on the left hand side, click on the scissor select tool. Uh, I'll duplicate the layer just in case. And what I'll do is I'll. I'll do it feathers edges. Again, as you can see, I'm just doing this offhand, so hopefully it'll work. Uh, go in the middle, turn it in selection, select, invert, delete, select, none. So you can't see what I'm doing here. You click on uh, da -da 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 -da, layer, transparency, color to alpha, and as you can see, I've basically it's automatically selected white, so click on OK, and that's transparent. File, save as, and uh, we need to just select PNG. So if I type in here PNG, click on yes, yes, that's done. Save, export. Uh, I'm guessing I don't want any compression. And I now have a PNG file. So if I log out of there and go back into desktop, click on load, uh, C drive, start. If I hover over it, it'll tell me what the actual. So that's the PNG one. It's ID. So now I'll bring that into editing. So that's the point at which I want it to be. So I'll go here, I'll click on split on here. I'll bring that in. And here, da -da 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 -da. let's see how it works. As you can see, very rough, very quick. You could probably do a much better job if you spent a lot longer. I was actually not planning on showing you how to do it in Jashaka, but Hey ho, this is basically how you would do it. And then you could somehow mask the rest out. Uh, maybe in a later date I'll go through it, but you can you see the basic gist of how to do it. Now one big thing that you might have noticed is that it doesn't actually look that good. The reason is, it's quite simple. Why does a ball look like that? It's because it's got motion blur anything that's moving has got motion blur so if you're doing a freeze time effect where something that's moving is all of a sudden not moving and you're using a video camera it will inevitably you're just taking a still frame and you're freezing it 
but that frame will have motion blur on it. Anything that's moving in that frame will have motion blur on it. Uh, the only way it won't is either if you have like a camera that's recording like 500 frames a second. So in that case, it probably won't have that much motion blur because it's capturing so many high, uh, so many frames per second. It doesn't. It won't matter. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So that obviously, the way to get around this and to make something completely realistic, if you ever notice in uh, the movies where they have these stop motion and then they go through the room or whatever, everything's in focus. So more often than not, what I would probably do is uh, film this. Then I'd probably at the uh, using the same a camera in the same position, just hold a ball where that's supposed to be, and then mask out the ball by itself, and then let it drop. And at this point, just reveal that ball. But because that ball is then completely focused, it would look a lot more like it's actually frozen in time rather than I've just taken a still image of a video. Uh, I hope you guys understood what I meant by that. Uh, feel free to have a play around. If you've got any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, thank you for watching.